Right now at 6, the emails are non-stop. Every single hour, we're hearing concerns about your missing mail and packages, and we know you want some answers. Those packages are believed to be stuck inside Georgia's new processing center in Palmetto. And tonight, 11 Lives' Liza Lucas tells us these delays aren't isolated to Georgia. And she's got the story of one woman whose job, wedding, and ability to remain in the country are all on the line. Everything Erica Forneromonia worked hard for rests in the hands of the United States Postal Service. So I've been waiting for my visa since pretty much mid-February. Never was received anywhere. It's in transit. Erica from Italy is a nursing student who was supposed to start her nursing residency in Atlanta last week. Without her work visa, she's stuck, spending time at post offices like this one trying to track down the critical document. This location finally said that my post, my mail is lost in the Palmetto area. Erica and her fiance among the hundreds who've reached out to 11 Alive from across the metro. The majority say they've been unable to get answers about critical pieces of mail, ranging from tax documents to prescriptions they depend on. But one 11 Alive viewer did share this email with 11 Alive. The response seemingly sent from staff at the Postal Service says our apologies. Our new transition to a new and bigger plant is causing the USPS delays. The staffing and transportation issues were unforeseen. The Palmetto facility opened February 24th, part of the Postal Service's Delivering for America plan. The facility meant to centralize outgoing mail and package processing for the majority of Georgia. But the problems reported since the rollout are not unique to our state. Last week, a group of bipartisan lawmakers in Virginia released this letter, highlighting the uptick in distress disruptions and delays of a similar facility in Richmond. While we are always open to changes to long-standing practices to improve efficiency, the lawmakers wrote, the ongoing stream of reports we get suggests that the opposite is happening. Back indicator Erica just prays her work visa is directed her way soon. The clock ticking on whether she can even stay in the country. It's in the hands of God and the government. That's it. And USPS. All right, so here's the situation. Erica's already lost her residency and her spot for the spring, but her employer is now offering her another opportunity to work if her visa comes through, through the mail. 11 Alive requested an interview with the Postmaster General over, the, over these issues, but USPS, they declined. We've also sent out multiple questions over the past week asking about resources and a timeline to try to fix these problems. USPS continues to tell us they have no further updates to share with our viewers. So we want to hear from you. Anyone experiencing postal problems, if you're dealing with USPS problems at your home, at work, let us know. You can email us at postalproblems at 11alive.com.